Ready, Ms. Gonzalez? We're rolling. Okay. So what I've got here now, I've just kept going. I've got seven sheets connected. I gave you a little formula last class for how to figure out how many sheets you need, and we can review that again when yeah, we're done here. Yeah, sometimes. So now I'm ready to close it. Only on Thursday? You need help? You can see it's pretty sturdy if you don't get it wet. You can move it around. It's not going to tear that Okay, you want to kind of hold that up over there? Now I'm just going to put glue on this edge and I'm going to bring it over to the other free edge. So start it up here. Now, try to make sure your glue makes a continuous line but don't soak it. Because then it'll like rip it up, right? Well, it'll go through the other side and when, you're, when it's drying it'll stick together to the other might stick to something you don't want it to stick to. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, you sound like my grandson. He does that all the time. And his name, oh, no, that's DJ does it. Devin doesn't do that yet. His, son, his name Devin, too? Yes, my grandson is Devin. Oh. Okay, so, here we go. Just take this one end that's open and you press it to the other side where I just put the glue. And I'm just gluing these two sides together to close like it up. That look like snake. What part are you looking at? The tricky part is not to get the glue where you don't want it. Glue or break it. Does, does that really fly? Mm -hmm. I'm about to put tape all over so my hot so air in it. You don't want too much tape, Devin, because so, you don't want to add any more mass than you have to. Because so, uh, the heavier it is, the harder it is to get enough hot air to make it I'm going to some push. strings to it and make it a kite. Well, you can add a string if you want, but it might go really high, and then the string will hold it down. Oh, so we can just go and let it fly in the air? We're just going to let it go. Oh, we waste all that time and just let it go. So you're going to grade us before? Now, here's how you finish it off. I'm going to let this dry just a second longer. You should be the camera boy. First thing is, if it looks like you've got a little hole at the top, you can kind of just twist this up. Put a little bit of tape on it. Don't put a lot because you don't want it to be top heavy. If it tips over, then all the hot air is going to go out the top. This is the best thing to use. You guys looking? Best thing to use for a, a hoop in the bottom is these white wire coat hangers because they're not too heavy, but they're heavy enough. You want to make a circle, maybe about the size of a dinner plate, maybe a little bit smaller. A dinner plate is not okay. Tear off a piece of that, please. And just tape the ends down. You can even cut it off if you don't want this much overlap if you have a wire cutter, which I can bring over. So I'm just going to put a little tape to hold this in a circle. <clears throat> Add a piece. Now this is how you keep the end of it open. You're going to take your balloon. Take the wire and just fold this around the wire. That's the wire box. You have to gather it up a little bit because the opening is a little bit bigger than the wire. I don't got no wire for me to my house. Wow. And then that's going to keep the bottom of the balloon open. This you can glue, or it's really just as easy to staple it. I don't know if my stapler is over here. <laughs> How many pieces is there? Um, 33. I have seven strips. Um, three and three? Can you see if the stapler's on that side? Because I had it over there earlier today. Okay, thank you. Okay, now you just put the stapler around the wire and staple it on. I don't think that's going to Are we going to see your slide? You can just roll it up and put it in a bag. Are you going to fly yours today, Mr. Miller? What? You're gonna fly yours today? No. Are you supposed to get on camera like fly yours? No. 
We don't have the burner all set up. Oh, you actually want to put a burner in it? No, you're, we're going to put a burner on the ground and hold this over the hot air and then let go. I can turn it inside out. Okay, Mr. We're good. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So, closed up the free end, and now we're just going to turn it right side out. You wouldn't have to do this because obviously it'll fly anyway, but if you just take it and roll it through the wire, a little noisy. Pull a little through the other side. The tissue paper is stronger than you think. You wouldn't want to yank on it and rip it. All that noise. There we have a finished balloon. Now, if you got a little hole in it somewhere, I just made a little hole here. You can put a little patch over it. Small holes really don't matter. If one that big, I'd probably patch. But if you have some little tiny holes anywhere else, a place in the seam where it maybe didn't catch, you can seal it up. But little holes are not going to matter a lot. And so you can see the finished size of this balloon is pretty big. Yours doesn't have to be quite this big, but that's it.